I'm gonna tell you right now, don't ever do that, especially if it's a Leonard Skinner song. You will get pummeled with everything that they have and you will be booed off stage. Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm Brent Smith from the band Shinedown and I am going to try and remember some moments from the past, some iconic moments from Shinedown. On the first record, we got an opportunity of a lifetime to do two months with Van Halen. And then over time in this tour, me and Eddie just, you know, developed a friendship. And I, one of the sweetest and most amazing human beings on the planet. But if I'm gonna be honest about what I remember um, from this tour too, which is probably one of the most incendiary rock and roll moments uh, of all time. Eddie would always come in every day around five o'clock. They flew private everywhere, so they would come in about five o'clock. Eddie never wore a shirt. He was always wearing camo pants and like combat boots, and he always had his guitar around him, and he was always smoking a cigarette, um, and uh, he would drink yellowtail wine, so he always had purple around his lips. Like, it's everything you want him to be. <laughs> There's this one day he comes into the dressing room and I hear him come in, I'm in the bathroom and I'm washing my hands and he's like, hey, where's Brent? And they're like, he's in the bathroom. So I come out of the bathroom. I'm like, Eddie, what's up? But I didn't like dry my hands all the way. So I, he like gave him a high five and he was like, oh dude, what? And I said, oh, you know, I was just having to handle my business in there. So he walks over to the deli area, like craft services in, in the room. He then proceeds to, on the deli tray, urinate on the deli tray and take a rolled up piece of turkey and rolled it up and put it in the center, took his cigarette, stuck it in the top of the, the turkey, handed me the deli tray with urine and said, here, give this to your tour manager. It's called a smoking gun. And then walked out of the room. The most incredible rock and roll story that is 100% true that I can think of from the past. I miss, I miss Eddie so, so much. Um, Seriously though, one of the sweetest human beings in the world and I miss him every single day, but also gave you a killer story. So a moment when a fan gave me a unique gift. Strange, I've gotten a lot of strange stuff that we probably don't need to discuss. Well, I have a love for elephants. I have since I was a kid. So a lot of times when people will get a chance to be around me, they'll give me different, like either little statues of elephants or they'll give me pictures of elephants or they'll give me shirts with like elephants on them or just different kinds of things. I just love elephants, I always have. Recently, there was a family that uh, presented me with um, adoption papers of like this family of elephants in my name, which I thought was the most endearing and the sweetest thing ever. So like they pay to make sure that this family of elephants has the food that they need every day, um, that they live out the rest of their lives in a sanctuary. She presented that to me and I basically started like crying like a little kid because it was just the sweetest thing ever. So a moment when a band member got lost on tour. I don't necessarily know about lost, um, but I do remember the time that uh, the bus uh, decided to drive away without me. We were in a stadium parking lot and we were actually playing the night, uh, the next night. And we were surveying the area and doing a, a, a sound check. Everyone gets back to the buses, and I'm on the one bus by myself. No one's on it just yet. And I had the great idea of leaving my phone on the bus and going to the restroom. I'm, I'm in this porta potty, and I hear the buses fire up, and I don't think anything about it. But then I hear the buses, the idle lift, and you can hear them getting further and further away. So I had to hurry up and use the restroom. And I'm literally walking out of this and it's, I swear, it's like halfway, like out of the, um, out of the parking area. So like I had to assess the distance from where it was, the road that it would have to get on and cross into the interstate. But there was a wooded area off here that was kind of like, almost looked like a national park type thing. So I just, hauled butt basically up through this forest area down this embankment and as the bus was coming around the corner i got in front of the bus on the street and was like yo 
and our bus driver stopped and uh, I got on the bus and he's like, dude, what, what, where did you come from? And I was like, I had to use the restroom. And he was like, but you, I'm like, don't worry about it. We're all good. And I don't think that that bus driver recovered that evening from like what he had seen. Cause it had to have been a little bit freaky, but uh, I almost got what we call on the road, um, oil spotted. A moment when an instrument didn't show up or broke. We were recently in West Virginia and we were having an amazing show. Like we were firing on all cylinders, probably 14,000 people just going off. And the show's about 19 songs long. So we're probably halfway through, a little bit more than halfway through the show. And we're at this climactic moment. We're doing the song, Cut the Chord. And out of nowhere, everything in the building just goes dark. I mean, breakers, transformers, everything gone. So the PA's out, the lights are out, generators pop on, and it literally took an hour for them to get everything back up and running because what had happened was in the street where, or on the, the highway, there's a huge transformer for the entire city. And unfortunately, a car had hit the transformer. And so it shut down like four city blocks. And so we did get it back up and running about an hour later, but like half the audience had to go because they didn't know if it was gonna come on or, or what have you. Uh, so that sucked. A moment when one of us either forgot how to play a song or <laughs> this guy forgot the words. Happens all the time. <laughs> what can I say? Um, but we're known for playing a cover of an extraordinarily famous song called Simple Man by the band Leonard Skinner. It's the only cover that we play in the set. Um, and there was only one time that I can recall where I forgot a lyric and it was in the third verse. I'm going to tell you right now, don't ever do that, especially if it's a Leonard Skinner song. There will be nobody in the audience that feels sorry for you. There will be nobody in the audience that's like, oh, it's okay. You will get pummeled with everything that they have and you will be booed off stage. Let's just put it this way, I never made that mistake again. A moment when a band member slept through an alarm or missed the show. So no one has ever intentionally missed a show uh, in the band ever. Um, but recently we were in Europe and Zach, for whatever reason, uh, slept through his alarm, which freaked us all out because Zach is always on time. Like 90% of the time, Zach is always, he's usually early. So we were all kind of like getting nervous 10 minutes out. He wasn't answering his phone. They didn't know if they were gonna have to like, you know, break the door down because like it was very much unlike him not to get bus call. But I do find it endearing that I called him and he answered my call because everybody else was calling him and he wouldn't answer. And then when I called, he answered and I was like, hey man, um, where you at? And he goes, oh shoot, what time is it? And I was like, well, the bus call like 15 minutes ago. He's like, my alarm didn't go off. So uh, it happens, but most of the time we, we usually arrive where we're supposed to be. What's happening everyone? This is Brent Smith from the band Shinedown and we just played a moment when Everyone, Planet Zero is available right now, our brand new record. You can go to shinedown.com and get all the details on the touring that we're doing all of this year. Much love and respect to everybody. We will see you on the road very, very soon. Much love and respect.